we are given a two-period binomial tree that shows possible prices the stock of your corporation could take over next six months. Currently, the stock price denoted by S0 equals 100, and with risk-neutral probability Q, the stock price could go up in each period by a factor of U, which equals 1.1, or with risk-neutral probability 1 minus Q, the stock price could go down by a factor of D, which equals 0.9. We are given a barrier call option on the stock with payoff that's the maximum of the terminal stock price minus the strike price, or zero, times the indicator function, which equals one, if the terminal stock price is less than the barrier B, or zero otherwise. In other words, the payoff of this call option is just like that of a regular call option, except that it will only pay off as long as the terminal stock price is below the barrier. So the strike price of this option is 90, the barrier equals 100, the continuously compounded discount rate is 5%, and time to maturity of the option is 6 months or 0.5 years. The length of each period denoted by delta t equals the time to maturity divided by the number of periods we're looking at, since this is a two-period binomial tree model, and time to maturity is six months, the length of each period is three months or quarter of a year. We are asked to draw the payoff of this option at maturity, and we also have to calculate Q, the risk-neutral probability of stock price going up in each period, and the price of the option at time t equals zero. So let's start by drawing the payoff. As the stock price increases and goes above the strike price k, the payoff begins to get positive and equals the difference between the terminal stock price minus the strike price until it hits the barrier b. Once the barrier is reached, the option ceases to exist and pays off nothing. Let's write down the payoff of this option at the terminal nodes. So in six months time, when the stock price goes down to 81, the option is out of money as the stock price is less than the strike price of 90, and therefore the payoff is zero. On the other hand, in six months time, when the stock price goes up from 100 to 121, even if the stock price is greater than the exercise price of 90, the payoff will be zero as the price of 121 exceeds the barrier, which equals 100. In order for this option to have a positive payoff, the stock price must be greater than the strike price and less than the barrier. So finally, when the stock price in six months reaches 99, the stock price is greater than the strike price of 90 and less than the barrier of 100. So the payoff is 99 minus 90, which equals 9. Before working backwards through the tree, let's first calculate the risk-neutral probability Q of stock price going up in each period, as it will help us to calculate the value of the option at each of the intermediate nodes, and finally, at time t equals 0. So Q equals exponential of the discount rate times delta t, which is the length of each period in this two-period binomial tree model, minus d divided by u minus d. We know this from basics of risk-neutral valuation, and we covered this in tutorial. Plugging in the values, q equals exponential of the discount rate of 5% times delta t, which is quarter of a year, minus d, which is 0.9, divided by u, which is 1.1, minus d again. And this equals 0 0.56. So the risk-neutral probability of stock price going up in each period 
is 0.56. Let's move on to price the option. We have already calculated the payoff of this option at each of the terminal nodes. So let V S T denote option value when stock price is S at time T. In that case, V S T equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from S to S U at time T plus delta T times the risk neutral probability of stock price going up plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from S to S D at time T plus delta T times the risk neutral probability of stock price going down. This expected value is to be discounted at the risk free rate over time period delta T. So following this, in three months time, the value of the option when stock price is 110 equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from 110 to 121, which is the payoff of the option at that node. And we just calculated it to be zero times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go up, which we just calculated to be 0.56, plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 110 to 99, and that's going to be the payoff at that node, which we just calculated and got nine, times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go down. This expected value will be discounted at the risk-free rate over time period delta T, which is quarter of a year. And this equals 3.91. So value of the option when stock price is 110 in three months time is 3.91. Similarly, in three months time, which is a quarter of a year, the value of the option when stock price goes down to 90 equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from 90 to 99. And that's the payoff at that node, which equals 9 times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go up plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 90 to 81 and the payoff at that node is zero times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go down. And this expected value is to be discounted at the risk free rate over quarter of a year. And this equals 4.98. So in three months time, when stock price is 90, the value of the option is 4.98. And finally, today at t equals zero, the value of the option when stock price is 100 equals the value of the option when stock price goes up to 110, and we just calculated it to be 3.91 times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go up, which is 0.56, plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 100 to 90, which is 4.98, times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go down. That's 1 minus 0.56. And this expected value, when discounted at the risk-free rate over quarter of a year gives us the price of the option today, which equals 
three, three. So today, when stock price is 100, the value of the option is 4.33. So we have just priced a European barrier option using risk neutral valuation in a two period binomial tree model. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.